Give me fuel, give me fire, give me double shot as Welcome to Florida International Super Speedway for the Intuo Cola Light 400. Two more races to go in the regular season, and we are at one of the most difficult tracks where we could have four wide battles, speeds up to 200 miles per hour, flips, and most importantly, the big one. Here's a look at the playoff standings after last week. Recently, we have two new winners from the last three races. And they are trying to fight to secure their second win of the 2024 season. With that out of the way, let's take a look at our starting grid. In row 1, Cruz Ramirez in her second Super Speedway Pole Award. And Colin Bargain in the IHOP Mustang. In row 2, Bubba Wheelhouse, a two-time intermediate track winner. And Master Dragon 4000 trying to get a second win of the season. Trying to keep his championship hopes up. In row 3, Cal Weathers and Chase Race a lot. In row 4, Ed Trunken in his first Super Speedway start after failing to start in the Florida 500. And H.J. Hollis who came close to win multiple times this year. In row 5, Brandon Powercar and last week's winner, Daniel Suarez. In row 6, Lightning McQueen, the current regular season points leader, and J.D. McPillar. In row 7, Ryan Laney also having the same problem as Master Dragon 4000 and Conrad Camber, the 2024 Florida 500 winner. In row 8, Brian Spark in the edge of the cutoff line and Phil Tankson. In row 9, Jackson Storm in a hangover season and Bobby Swift with a terrible qualifying run. And starting in row 10 is Terry Cargas. Here's the race format, 8 laps, 20 miles around the 2.5 mile super speedway and pit road speed is 60 miles per hour. The pace car is off to the pits. Colin Bargain and Cruz Ramirez will lead 18 or 17 racers to the green flag and the Intuo Cola Light 400 is underway. Colin Bargain and Master Dragon 4000 already working together through turn one. They're giving each other a little draft. So, tandem drafting is important for this race and any other super speedway races. Here they go through the super stretch. Cruz Ramirez still in the lead. Meanwhile, Bubble Wheelhouse and Colin Bargain are trying to get first place. And Colin Bargain leads the field through turn three. Now, side by side for the lead. Who's in the lead? Lap one is going to be Bubble Wheelhouse or Colin Bargain. Cal Wetters is in the wall. Well, he's going to lose a few positions. Colin Bargain leads lap one, and we have seven laps to go here in the end school for a light 400. Meanwhile, there are three to four wide, and Cal Wetters is just moving around left and right through the track. If they're going to try to make it four or five wide, that's going to be a disaster because you don't know what when the big one is going to happen. And also, Colin Bargain has a nice car out there. H.A. Hull is trying to reach up to the number 10. The 10 has been unstoppable for a few weeks. Ooh, Cal Wetters is still loose all over the track. And Jackson Storm is all the way in dead last. What's going on with him? Colin Bargain leads the first two laps to the end to a couple of light 400. Ooh! Ed Truncan and Brandon Powercar go off the yellow line. They got loose and almost wrecked in the next to the Daytona road course, or next to the road course. All right, here's what just happened. So the 42 is give a little nudge to the 33 of Trunken, and he got the 33 and 7 loose. Here it is at full speed. That is pretty dangerous. You don't know if you're going to hit that inside wall or go upside down. 
but these cars um, have roof flaps on top of them so it'll keep the car on all four wheels and Colin Bargain so far is unstoppable through this race Race like Hole is trying to pass number 10 including the 42 aggressively trying to push the 60 out of the way side by side for second place Cal Wetter's in second and he's in the wall Will Cal Weather still stay in second place or Ace Shea Hollis will take it away? And Ace Shea Hollis is in second place. Get ready for the halfway jam. laps to go here in the end to we'll call a life 400 now we go to three laps to go and the 42 gets turned by the number six and they go through turn one the caution will come out meanwhile the 42 won't stop spinning and he's hitting on the brakes now he's going back on track and we're gonna have to to go to a green white checkered restart here's what just happened so the 42 got loose out of nowhere and then Turn to number six, or the six just turn him through the front straightaway and close to the road course. At least that concrete is slowing him down instead of the grass, just making him still go fast and then slam the wall. Hopefully, his day isn't over yet. Here's a bigger view. That's a better view. Alright, we're going to have an onboard with Cal Weathers, Bubba Wheelhouse, and Conrad Camber. The 42 almost went upside down through that onboard camera. I seen the car just lift off the air for a few seconds. Now here's Bubba Wheelhouse. Conrad Camper. At least it was through the double yellow line. Otherwise, it would cause a huge wreck. We'll be right back since Cal Weathers and Bob Wheelhouse brings out the first caution of the night. Welcome back to Florida International Super Speedway for the Antwoo Cola Light 400. Right now we're seeing Cal Wetters heading to the pits because his right side tires are wearing down and he doesn't want those tires to wear down during the caution or green flag laps. Again we're going to go overtime and Cal Wetters is going to have two fresh light year tires. Also, the official is checking if he's going to make some really dumb modifications. Well, not dumb. And there he goes with the timing of 9 seconds and 3 milliseconds. And we'll be right back once we're ready to go back green. Welcome back to the end tool call a light 400. We're ready to go back green next time by. The lights are already off the pace car. And we're about to have a two lap shootout. So if the leader takes the white flag, it uh, doesn't matter if a wreck happens, the, the next flag will end the race. 
and if they wreck before um, the leaders catch up to the white flag, they're gonna have to restart again. So this time we'll have unlimited attempts on like a earlier on in February in the Florida 500 where everybody started wrecking and we chose to go one shot of overtime so it's gonna be a green white checkered meanwhile Ed Truncan restarts from the outside and Colin Bargain from the inside and Truncan could get his first win of the 2024 season and Cruz Ramirez possibly could get her second win of the year Colin Bargain on track, trying to get his third win of the season. Yeah, there's a bunch of potential winners. Anyways, the pace car is off to the pits. Here we go for a two-lap shootout. The green flag is back in the air. Ed Trancan already with a great start, getting help from the 51 of Cruz Ramirez. Meanwhile, Colin Bargain needs help from the 19 and the 41. Meanwhile, Ed Truncan is making three wide. Now he's going to the outside line, and Colin Bargain already got help from the 19, or in instead he has the faster car against the others. Colin Bargain, Bobby Swift, Mass Dragon 4000, and the others are giving him help, leading him to his third win of the 2024 season. Now he's trying to go to the outside. Meanwhile, behind Bobby Swift and Colin Bargain, they're three wide. Now they're two wide. Meanwhile, Kyle Weathers moves up to 18th place. The white flag is out. The next flag will end the race. A few more miles for Colin Bargain's third career win here at Florida International Super Speedway. A Shaolis trying to get his first win so bad. He has not won this year. Meanwhile, they're three to four wide behind the top five or six. That's just crazy. He's just asking for a big one. Now, entering turn three, Colin Barton already with a bunch of momentum. The 42 turns the 20 of Jackson Storm, and Jackson Storm slams the wall and goes off the track. He collects Cal Weathers and Bubble Wheelhouse. They're racing back to the line, and Colin Bargain gets his third win of the 2024 season. Congratulations to Colin Bargain for winning his second race here at Florida International Super Speedway. The cars were still racing once the caution was out, and they're slowing down. Now we see the pace car. Let's take a look at what just happened. The 42 just wrecked the 20. I don't know what's happening with the 42 today. He also collects the 6, which he was innocent. The 20 hit the wall hard in turn 3. That crash looked identical to another one. And how the 6 just went into the 42's way. He didn't react quickly. Here's an onboard with the 6. Ah, that's a nasty hit from the front. What a crazy night here at Florida Air National Super Speedway. And the 24 of Chase Race Lot bumps the back of the 41 of Master Dragon 4000. And here's Cal Weathers, the real loser here at Florida International Super Speedway. Tough night for the 42 crew. What a shame. I apologize in advance for saying that. Here are the official results. Cal Wetters is the fastest car of the day with an average speed of 192.75 miles per hour. Next week, it's the regular season finale at Darlington Raceway for the Rep and Go Southern 500 starting Friday, August 30th at 7 p.m. Eastern and 4 p.m. Pacific. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is the Candy Cat 127, signing out.